Hello, in this video I'm going to go over some jazz chords that you can play on with the A string root. Let's use uh, C, third fret of the A string, as our um, kind of chord that we're going to build them off of. Um, it's basically kind of taking the, um, the A bar chord shape whichever fingering you're used to um, and moving a couple of the notes so that we're playing the root, third, and seventh primarily. Um, so our root is here on the third fret of the A string, C, and then we have another root here on the fifth fret of the G string. So what we want to do is we're going to make that, that doubled root that's up an octave the major seventh by moving it down one fret from C down to B. So now we've got the root and the major seventh. And then we're going to go on the um, D string and play our third, which is right here on the second fret. So we end up with our middle finger on the root, which is uh, C, our index finger on the third, which is E, second fret of the D string, and then our uh, pinky or ring finger on the major seventh, fourth fret of the G string. So that's the major seventh chord. We've got root, major third, major seventh. To make it a dominant chord, we're gonna move that major seventh down to a minor seventh, or a flat seventh. So that's middle finger on the root, index finger on the third, ring finger on the flat seventh. Uh, middle finger, third fret A string, index finger, second fret D string, ring finger, third fret G string. It's a dominant seventh chord. So the major seventh, dominant seven. Then minor seven ha keeps the flat seven, but you also make your third flat. So I'll switch to using my ring finger on the root, your index finger on the minor third, first fret of the D string, and then your pinky on the flat seventh, third fret of the G string. Okay, so next would be a minor seven flat five. So we don't have the fifth in here, but the fifth is close by. It's right here um, on the next string from where your ring finger's at. Root on the A string, fifth on the E string. So you can actually use that fifth in any of these shapes, the major seven. Dominant seven, minor seven, but minor seven flat five, your fifth is going to move. It won't be on the third fret of the E string, it's going to be on the second fret, right? So we can just kind of omit the root or keep it, but it's kind of dense, so maybe we'll just get rid of the root, and you have your uh, flat five on the second fret, your minor seventh on the first fret of the D string, and your minor third, and your minor flat seventh on the third fret of the G string. And now you're playing a um, minor seven flat five. You can even add the root in on the B string first fret by barring your index. And then if you move your, your your uh, flat seventh down, like one more fret, that's a double flat seventh, and now you're playing a diminished chord. And the diminished chord is a middle finger, second fret, index finger, first fret of the uh, D string, ring finger, second fret of the G string, index finger, first fret of the G string. So we have major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, minor seven flat five, and diminished. Okay, and remember, you can move these shapes anywhere. We just did them in C, but you could do them up at the seventh fret for E. You know, 
it, just moving it around uh, will change the note name that it's based off of. All right, have fun with this and I'll see you in the next one. In the next video, I'll talk about some chord progressions you can apply this with.